Well, good afternoon, everybody. L.W. Smith here, your park manager here at Ancient Oaks, and uh, getting everything final set up here. Make sure I'm in screen and everything's good. So uh, your weekly question and answer period for uh, for the park, and uh, so we're live. I have a few things to go over. Not not really a whole lot of. Uh, different things going on, but uh, uh, just uh, want to be, be here for your questions and, uh, like I said, uh, pass on everything that we do have. Uh, one big thing that we need to uh, go over, and uh, I'll mention at the end of the uh, session also, is that the group for the luminaries committee or i guess it's not really a committee but group uh is asking for clean gallon milk jugs uh, they need to be rinsed out and we have a orange kind of an orange trailer back behind the uh, compactor it's on the left side of the compactor and that's where you can put the milk jugs only put milk jugs in there don't put any other plastic items in there because then guys have to pull it out and clean and throw them away. Uh, only the clean milk jugs in that area that then they can come pick up the uh, milk jugs at. I believe uh, I, uh, is it Eileen Gerter and uh, Norma Eberts are kind of in charge of that. Uh, there are uh, some candles left. Those people working on it. There are some candles left, not much. We may, may have to go purchase some more because there's lots of... Uh, uh, lots of jugs being placed around. So that's uh, on that subject. And uh, also uh, kind of along that line, Eileen Gerter and Norma Jones are taking charge of the carport sales. Lydia Watson has uh, uh, relinquished that position and uh, Eileen Gerter and Norma Jones are taking that over. So any questions about that that can be directed to them. Contact the office if you need uh, contact information for them. But uh, I know Eileen Gerter is on Facebook and uh, Messenger. So you can get a hold of her that way uh, and uh, take care of that. That's for the carport sales. Okay. Um, we are having a board meeting later this month. Excuse me. Regular board meetings like this only need uh, 48 hours notice so we'll give you try to we'll give you plenty of notice but uh they only need 48 hours notice so we'll get the agenda out and it could be it's either right now it's looking like it's going to be on the uh 17th but uh final information will be coming out we will live stream it both here on facebook and on uh, youtube and then once they're live streamed they are available for viewing later uh, on the youtube channel i am got at least one video up there i will put be putting and trying to make sure they're at the top of the page or pinned at the top videos that uh, are instructions on well like the dumpster and uh, any other instructions that we need to pass on to people that is kind of hard to read and one of them that we will probably be making a one on is uh, the ballot and voting ballot and voting uh, instructions to make sure that your vote gets counted. Because if you do the vote wrong, we have the ballot for the election. We have to disregard that vote and toss it out. So if you don't put your name on the outside envelope. Uh, it's disregarded. If it's inaccurate, it's disregarded. Your uh, name and your block and lot and your address. And then on the inside of envelope that's supposed to be secret, if your name is on that, then it gets disregarded. So you want to make sure we follow instructions, and I'll be putting a video on how to do, do that. But the YouTube channel, please uh, go to it. Uh, I believe the invite for here. We had the instructions on the YouTube channel to get there. Like it, subscribe. Uh, just like most of the YouTubers say, hit that little bell, 
click on it for all notifications. We don't put much on there right now, so you won't get notified a lot, but you will get notified when there is something new or something that <clears throat> you need to take care of. Okay. And uh, all right. Yeah. Nancy saying hello to you have to forgive me with my trifocal glasses. If something's on the screen, I got to tilt my head back and order read it accurately so thank you nancy good day to you too okay um another small item uh we still in the process and probably an ongoing process for years uh two more electric pedestals have uh, uh bit the dust and uh, are scheduled for replacement so that's one item that we'll be checking off Excuse me. Haven't quite totally got rid of my cough. It's pretty much finally got over that cold. <clears throat> the maintenance fees, uh, they're due quarterly. Uh, we had our November came up, and that was when the fees were due. Next set of fees will be due in January. The budget will be coming out uh, in March. Uh, I'll have to go back and double check on everything, but... Uh, Usually before people leave, they want to, they want to make their uh, payment. So yeah, March is the, the second one. Um, anyway, they're to be paid quarterly, not monthly, quarterly or yearly. That's the uh, the uh, process for doing those. Uh, that's how we're set up to do them. Okay. Once again, I said maintenance fees will be to be paid on a quarterly basis or the monthly basis. Um, yeah, let me double check on that. Yeah, the, uh, all right, sorry about that. A little bit of a double check there. Uh, one reminder about your dogs and cats if they are outside, they are to be on a leash so that they are in control. I, uh, you may have the most well behaved dog in the world, but you still have to have it on a leash. Cats. They need to be on a leash uh, if they're outside. I know some people like to let their runs their run loose, and it's dangerous for your cats because there are some people that one that don't like cats, and then there are apparently your cat may get blamed for it. But the, the if they climb on top of cars and then on people's houses and uh, clawing at screens and doing damage, the you could be liable for what the damage your cat causes. And also, uh, we will try setting up traps to catch those loose cats that are out at night. So don't let your cats out loose at night. And I guess I, some of you have probably watched my own personal channel, our cat that we had, we let out a lot. It was an outdoor cat when we took him in and he became an indoor outdoor cat. And, uh, which we had gotten quite attached to. And I feel that in the neighborhood, somebody didn't like cats running around at night on their own and possibly poisoned him because he came down sick real bad and we lost him on the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, the, when we took him to the vet, they said he was, oh, okay. Joyce, I'll get to you in just a moment. I see you there. <laughs> I, I can't hear you till I turn you on. So I see you there. Uh, I'll do it in just a moment. Uh, but anyway, dogs and cats will be on a leash, and it's dangerous for your cat to be outside. I wish my cat was still alive. Like I said, it's very possible he was poisoned because the doc said he needed a blood transfusion, didn't know what was the matter with him, and it would be expensive and to try to even find out and probably wouldn't even be able to find out. And he only lasted, I mean, before we could even got him treatment, he wouldn't have lasted days. Uh, didn't last very long. Okay, I'm going to bring on our newest board member at the last meeting. They uh, uh, We had Dan Powell sold his place. So are you ready, Joyce? Here we go. Yep. There Hi, we everybody. This, this is Joyce Weaver, our newest board member. Uh, Dan Powell uh, resigned as he sold his place. His mom still, uh, lit, or mother-in-law still lives in here. Wendy's mom, and uh, so he's still in and out a lot, but Joyce was uh, to take that, so there you go, Joyce, just a little bit there. 
Okay, I just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm here and available for anybody who wants to talk to me. Just plan on stopping at the house. We live at on 51st Lane. So if you guys need to talk to me, you can feel free to do that. Um, I'm out and about quite a bit, so hopefully I'll see you. And we'll have the uh, food truck back on Monday, and I'll be down there for anybody who's interested in Mexican food. Uh, really, really good food. So, yeah, I'll be there. If anybody needs to talk to me, I'll be glad to talk to you. All right, very good. And part of the reason for bringing on Joyce today, we did an experiment as far as if we have board members that are not physically present in the park and we want to have a full board and make sure we can have the, meet the meetings with the in attendance, they can attend virtually and we can, and this is a little bit of a test to make sure we could bring them on, people could see them and that they would be able to participate in a board meeting because we will stream, live stream the board meetings uh, probably well, as long as people still want them and, and uh, especially with the nobody's given, there is no probably right now, no end date for the COVID. So anyway, as we go on, so Joyce. Thank you. Let's we'll see you. I'll get my hand in the hey. screen. We'll see yep. you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. All right. That's, uh, and as uh, speaking of the COVID, the reason why I, the state is allowing virtual attendance and meetings is because of COVID. Uh, they, they put that in place uh, early on and uh, they haven't rescinded it. And especially with uh, things going on. One good thing for us here in Okeechobee, I looked up the stats again today. We have very few cases. Uh, last week there were seven cases uh New cases in, in in the county, so very low. That equals out to a uh, two point four percent positivity rate. Uh, the nation is running at seven percent, so we're well below what the nation is running. Uh, they don't give uh, individual stats as if there's been any deaths in Okeechobee. They didn't report it, but for the state of Florida, there was in the, the last week reported. So I don't know if it's just last week or, you know, the week before that, because they haven't reported the most current week. Uh, but anyway, 44 deaths in Florida, uh, as, as they say, as a result of COVID. But many times it's uh, other factors, too, that have called that. The, the biggest, best thing, uh, if you feel that you need, uh, of course, you can get vaccinated. Uh, but the state does not mandate it, and we are not mandating the mask. If you feel, once again, you feel you want need to be vaccinated, by all means, get vaccinated. Uh, masks are not mandated. If you feel uncomfortable, wear your mask. Uh, if you really want to stop the germs, you have to make one that's at least N95 uh, to prevent the other just lightweight masks are really not going to help that much. Um, because the germs can get through it if you handle them and you have to have a good protocols for handling your mask and taking care of it. Biggest thing is washing your hands, keeping your hands clean. Uh, if you cough, cough into your, el they say cough into your elbow. Many of us, uh, hopefully, I don't know if this is still a thing. I always carry a handkerchief with me, the screen being off, to cough into a handkerchief so that the spreads the germs don't get spread in the air but that's the biggest thing is you know take care of yourself and then vitamin c vitamin d sunlight is good for you and just get healthy and stay healthy okay that is pretty much unless there's any other questions on that like i said we're uh, following the, the cdc guidelines as far as health and safety the mandates, uh, Florida, we're not doing the mandates. And I have to say that it's uh, working out for the state. We have the lowest, lowest rate in the nation. So there you go. But like I said, you still have to be concerned and take care of yourself and uh, be, be careful. And then if you are sick, quarantine yourself. Stay home. Don't 
don't, especially if you've tested positive, till the doctor tells you you can go out. I know the, the doctors will release people while they're still testing positive, but they are no longer contagious. But that's got to be under a doctor's orders. So on that. With that being said, okay. Uh, water, Carolyn Brinson has asked when the water dispenser by the marine will be fixed. I am hoping soon. I have uh, sent the, the owner of that, the guy that takes care of Danny Infinger, uh, messages. But what happened is he's wait. This is a supply line crisis. Some people, somebody beat on the machine and uh, destroyed the dollar bill thing. Uh, receptacle and it, uh, that part of the machine uh, fell down and is broke and he's waiting on a replacement for that and something else on the inside. Don't hit the water machines when they get fixed. Don't hit them. Be <laughs> Hit them won't help. And now it is broke and will be broke. I don't know how long before it's fixed, but he told me that waiting on parts now. The uh, speaking of parts being broke, the gate has uh, sheared the bolt again. I'm checking into a lighter weight arm so it has less stress on it, and uh, we'll just see if we can put a lighter weight arm on that to uh, with, where we won't be shearing that bolt for the uh, gate. And uh, we've only been here for 15 minutes, but uh, a little bit shorter today. Luckily, we don't have a uh, uh, lots of stuff that is being fixed and lots of other things be happening. There are happenings in the park. There are events being planned. The food truck coming in. Uh, we have a golf cart oh, parade for, uh, I believe it's uh, Christmas Eve. And uh, decorating contest for that. Uh, there is information posted around the park. Oh, I see uh, Joanne Reese came in by a... Uh, the YouTube. That's well, Joanne, you are the first one that I've seen that has come in via YouTube. So you uh, are the <laughs> number one, number uno. Um. Okay. The Janice has asked a question. Let me finish. Let's see if I can finish my thought on the other one about the uh, uh, happenings. Uh, there are some dinners being planned. The social committee is coming. Uh, some members are returning. So watch the Facebook page. Watch the Acorn, uh, which is available in the office. And, of course, at the bathrooms, they do put up the posters about events. And so that will be uh, oh, And Barbara Dill, you're, you're, you're there on YouTube. But Joanne happened to beat you. want to be the first one to comment from YouTube. So you are number, you're number two. Uh, see, uh, see here, and it's showing me that it's on uh, YouTube. And then Joanne said hi to Joyce, and she came from YouTube. All righty. So uh, the events events should be fun and enjoyable. And uh, yes, I see Joanne is this that I just noticed before I got on here because uh, I have to pull up Facebook for some other things. Uh, Janice, which is Joanne's mom, fell and has fallen and broke her hip and arm. And she's down there in Key West, correct, correct uh, Joanne? They're, I assume they were visiting you guys down there. And uh, she had a bad fall. So put have her in your prayers. Um, and she, uh, from your Facebook post, it said that a surgery was coming up. So... Uh, There'll be there will be that. So keep Janice in your prayers and thoughts, and uh, and that because uh, it's it's tough, especially when you break your break your hip. Uh, that yes, okay. Jo Joanna saying surgery, surgery on Monday. Okay, okay. Let me go up to there was a question on the boards. Let's see. Dan Powell's position, I think there's the Joyce was filled that. There is still uh, one year to go on that position. So she will still be on the board. Uh, the two others, uh, 
three others. Uh, Sherry Boggs' position the and Paula Weaver's, not Weaver, Paula Wilcox and Pat Hancock. Uh, those three positions will be uh, vacated because of the, uh, the their term has ended and the Pat is not running again. Uh, at least that's what he told me I found out uh, yesterday. So Pat won't be running again. But uh, so there's three positions that are open and that will be the uh, what we voted on. Is there any, okay, the question was on the uh, Marina and that, like I said, don't know for sure when it will be fixed because of the supply problems of, of getting the parts to fix it. And uh, have we any other questions? Oh, I need to turn that back off. The guys will start uh, putting up Christmas decorations on Monday. Uh, Francisco will be back. He's been on vacation. And then uh, after he gets back, uh, Pedro, we all pretty much, uh, other than a new employee, Adam White and Graciela and Kathy, other than that, so those three employees uh, uh, and Chris, so there's four. All four of the 10, okay, six out of the 10 employees for the part, myself and uh, the other five, uh, we have all been here more than 10 years and we have vacation. And so we are uh, working on that uh, during this. This is the time of the year that we ask the guys to basically to use your vacation days this time of the year as the summer is very busy. And so you'll be seeing the guys a little bit less of a crew. Uh, we still can take care of stuff, but the grass is not growing as fast. So we don't have any uh, problem keeping up. Okay. We have a question here. Can you explain the arrangement? is with the park model on the canal is that's for sale does the park own it uh okay that is a little difficult one because of the legality in it it's okay we did foreclose on it we foreclosed on the what was called the uh, 5125 block 31 something we foreclosed on it we do have the title but the people who loaned the money for the person to buy it uh, has got a suit, I guess you say court order going on for their $40,000 that they are owed on that. So that we have arranged with the lawyers that the lawyers talked. Unfortunately, each time you have the lawyers take care of something, cost extra money. But anyway, the lawyers, uh, contacted the owners and if we can somebody bids on it and agrees to and they agree to the selling price then the uh it can be sold so we they would they would have to get their money so we know that they're going to want their money there is also I, the, number, the total number escapes me it was about $50,000 between maintenance fees and lawyer fees on it. And I know there was $3,000 in back taxes. So those are the costs that are associated with it. It is for sale. Anybody can take a look at it, come to the office, get the, uh, we, and we will arrange for the, to be open for you to be able to tour it and take a look at it and be able to put a bid in on it. It will have to be, uh, agreeable to the other party so that we can get it all the courts and, and get it done. Does that answer your question, Bob? Okay. I hope it does. Uh, Renee, and I can't ever pronounce his last name, La Hunusa or whatever. Anyway, uh, not specifically that I can say that it's in the park rules other than you can't disturb your neighbors. So you can have wind chimes as long as nobody 
close to you feels that it's disturbing their sleep or uh, you know grinds on their nerves during the day so uh it's just live peace live peaceably with your neighbors and don't do anything that would irritate somebody else so there's the answer on that so like i said you can put them up but uh have to be agreeable with them uh yes we could do that uh, but not using during the working hours the only problem is is that trying to get contractors to stop and sign in would be just about impossible with the gates open because even with the gates closed they do not look and see the fact that they have to sign in um, it's an idea and worth exploring uh, it would save wear and tear on the gates so that is a an idea that needs to uh, could be explored but this has been said before but nothing we have not taken any action on it um, so there's where it sits uh, you could uh, write up a suggestion uh, to bring it up at a board meeting and have a vote on it uh, is one way of doing it uh, you'd have to bring it up and then take it uh, somehow there'll be a process that it could be uh, voted on by the membership or by the board uh, but we would like some input from the rest of the park uh, as far as doing anything like that i'm not going to make that decision on my own that's going to have to be uh kind of a combined decision on that okay carolyn okay but barb all right i guess i answered your question thank you for responding and carolyn uh i guess i've answered your question do we have any other questions here make sure i have not missed anything run the run back on the comments like i said i'm sorry for tilting my head back and all that but you know as most all of us at least need bifocals by the by the our ages huh i really appreciate uh everybody that is doing their part on helping keep this park nice and neat and uh a, an enjoyable place to stay uh past due okay uh, maybe i didn't see that question there maintenance fees okay past due uh, sorry about skipping around there there is some but basically we have pretty much cleared them cleared them off taking care of a lot of stuff tammy's uh contacted the people we're getting people to uh get their payments in uh there is a couple circumstances with Dorth, like with dorothy wilson's place it is uh it's up on block one the bank i believe owns it now through a tax sale and uh unfortunately with any type of foreclosure tax sale the park loses out on maintenance fee so we are trying as early as possible in any situation like that get it to the lawyers and so get it resolved before it builds up in a large amount because then with that large amount we only get two percent one percent or two percent of the purchase price of the unit as far as maintenance fees when somebody else takes it over so but we do not have a lot we have some people that are a month or excuse me one or two quarters behind but other than that pretty much everybody is up to date other than the house that we had to foreclose on that we have the dorothy wilson place i can say her name she's passed away so it's not going to be anything um you know i'm not uh defaming any somebody or put you know dragging their name through the mud uh so she has passed away and so it's you know it's in the in the uh bank's hands now um and really everybody else is uh kind of taking is, is really taking care of stuff uh how here's one that uh, the question on that and uh we haven't got an opinion back from our lawyer we're gonna we're gonna bump him again on that at least that's what the president told me my feeling is after reading the opinion of another lawyer firm regarding games of chance for associations i personally do not 
want them because of the games of chance, uh, the board and the manager, my license would be in jeopardy if they felt that, uh, however, that the game of chance, the games of chance are not, are not allowed according to the, uh, I believe it's the 718, but anyway, the, that where we got the a legal opinion from uh, somebody else asked that, of, asked that of another lawyer's firm, and that was their big, long report. And bottom line, no. I, I personally do not want them and will do my most to say we can't have them anymore because the board members, even though I didn't have given permission that if I know about it, and don't shut it down. I can be held legally responsible by the state, and it's not a what, class one misdemeanor, a very high one. And then, of course, my license will there then be in jeopardy. So, do not look to be having any games of chance uh, being allowed. So, hope that answers your question, Dee Dee. I, I don't want to jump ahead of the board on that. Like I said, we didn't get anything from our lawyer yet on it, but. From what I read on the other lawyer firm that responded to a on HOAs, that's what they do is HOA and condominiums. So there we go. Uh, answered on that. So I'll hide that one. Uh, okay. Yeah, the lawyer the lawyer did already give us the ability. He felt that we had the the board has the authority uh, to go ahead and correct the language in the uh, phrases for the common ground, you know, descriptions. Well, five different phases. Okay. I mean, I guess I may have a different one here. If you're talking about the, during the five condos and the common ground, the common element, hasn't changed. Limited common element hasn't changed. There's no change on that. The we got a note again the other day when the, the they've apologized for not getting back to us on the opinion. And if it's regards to the seawall, uh, that has not come back to us. So the I don't think the, the common element is limited common element is the same through all five condos. It's just the maintenance of that is the difference between the condos. Um, so in a sense, it's it's not, the board isn't pushing, isn't going to bring that up as far as I know. Uh, anything on that, we have seven residents that have built their own seawall and uh, that's where it stands at the moment. Does that answer, hopefully that answers your question good enough, Janice. Uh, okay, we're just saying we could do it legally or if we could. Okay, yeah. I don't think we can do the game. There's the the law pretty, pretty well states it plainly. Games of chance aren't allowed to be run by uh, condominium associations or HOAs. Yeah. Or, well, timeshares won't be involved in it. Okay, Janice. Janice said yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, I prattled on probably long enough here we have any other questions i don't want to uh, leave without answering everybody's questions as, as much as they need to be and uh but oh i started going i appreciate so many everybody here that uh we get along and happy to help other people and just uh makes this a good place to work and for your residents to live here and just shows that the community, the great community we have. Um, the only thing that we need to do, we want to keep our prices low, our, our maintenance fees low. The only thing we need to do is to have teeth in our documents that if we have somebody that looks to move into here that would not be a good fit for the community and cause consternation or they don't have the means to keep their place in good shape, that we have a way of keeping them out. I believe that type of language came up at least twice and it was voted down. And I don't know if, how many of you know of the problems that we had last summer 
and they've kind of started back up again. And uh, we really need to be able to have a easier, the language has to be in, in the bylaws where we can deny people from coming in. Because otherwise, legally, once they are here, uh, we cannot kick them out without a very long process and expensive. And in the meantime, that takes up the board's time. Uh, a lot of the ma whoever's the manager is right now, my time, trying to take care of that. Because as the police have told me, if they're a guest to somebody, if, if a resident has guests come in, there's no way we can kick them out. We can only take the, the, the resident that the, that the guest come into, uh, find them, and then a very long process. So that's being said, hopefully as that next time that that ballot comes up about changing and putting some teeth in our uh, that uh, documents so that we can, I am trying to interview everybody as they come in and hopefully we and uh, let them know of all the rules and regulations and all that kind of stuff. But we want to keep this as, like I said, keep the price down. But unfortunately, with the lowest price, we're one of the lowest priced areas in town as far as an RV park. And uh, people might try coming in that don't have the wherewithal. They get, barely get in, and I can't stop them. Uh, and then the, they aren't able to keep the place up. Um, okay. And like I said, I really enjoy being here. Uh, our employees enjoy working here. And we want to keep that up and keep everybody as happy and uh, as possible. And uh, no, we can't always please everybody every single time, but we will do our best. And if I don't see you before the uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Uh, we will probably still be having somehow, maybe I'll change it and still be in the Fridays because Christmas is on Saturday this year. So the employees will have uh, Christmas and New Year's will be on Saturday. Employees will have the Fridays off for both those days. So uh, we will probably change the Q&A to a different day in the week. And with that, I guess we'll say adios for the day. And like I said, appreciate everybody. We love you all and spread the good cheer and live, live long and prosper. Thank you. Now you got to find the button to end the broadcast. <laughs>